Good morning guys, it's Heather from Tomatoes, Poppies, and Everything Gardening. And this morning I'm going to be harvesting dragon radish uh, pods. And I'm going to take you along to show you how easy they are to grow. It's one of my best successes of the spring 2023 garden. And uh, I'm going to add them to my must grow list because they're easy. Um, they can bolt and flower and go to produce those pods and I don't have to worry about um, all the issues I have with radishes that grow in the ground. I can just let them grow above the ground and they taste great. Um, I don't love radishes to begin with but these are kind of like a mix between a green onion, a little touch of wasabi, and a little bit of radish and so I really like them. So it's a must add to my garden from now on and they can take heat much more, much more than a regular radish. So I'm excited to show you and um, definitely consider growing them. I think it's a fun thing for kids. Um, it's called dragon radish, but you can also call them rat's tail and they really look like a rat's tail. So it's a fun little novelty thing for children. Um, so let's go have a peek and get a big harvest going. I've already, already harvested at least twice, I think, maybe three times. Um, and I'm going to Google and see if there's some recipes to maybe preserve these. I know one way is to pickle them, like refrigerator pickles. So that's something I might try. So let's go have a peek. All right, I think Tonto's going to help. And here they are. They're in this front half of my 2 by 8 raised bed that's under the panel. And this is what they look like. They are kind of a purple color. I do think there's another variety you can buy that has a more of a green color there's a big one there um, like I said I have harvested these at least three or four times so maybe I'm starting to run out but I still have flowers so I think I still have a lot more uh, dragon not yeah dragon radishes or rat's tails to come let me go inside from the other way I think you'll get a better yeah. here's a big mess mess of them look at that look at that they are supposed to be tender enough for a, just a raw salad when they are less than a pencil width, which this guy would be perfect, that one in the center. You can let them get bigger, like this guy here, and you can cut them and chop them and make a stir fry. And I did that the other night, and it was really good. Um, it adds a nice texture and spice. Uh, but not too spicy. So yeah, I have quite a few still. I need to find a recipe um, or just keep eating them in salads and stir fry. Uh, the other night I chopped up some of the little ones and mixed them in with green onions uh, for topping, like on baked potatoes, and that worked out great. I've put them in salads. Really, really recommend this. This is going on my must-grow list. Right, Tonto? <laughs> All right, guys, so that was a quick video today. I hope you're having a great time in the garden this week, and I will talk to you soon. And I hope you will try these, too, and let me know. Comment and let me know if you're going to try them. Talk to you later. Bye.